This video is sponsored by Creality. Hi and welcome to the Cult of Crafting. Today I'm going to make a triumphal arch for my games of Warhammer 40,000. A triumphal arch is a monument with archways that's typically made to celebrate a great victory or a historical event. As far as I know, the oldest examples are from ancient Rome, and it seems fitting that these monuments should exist in the 40k universe. I start by making a cardboard sketch to get a real sense of how it will look on the battlefield. This will give me a better feel for the size and shape, and give me a real sense of proportion. How big will it be? Can I reach the models inside? How will a line of sight look through the archways? Let me show you how to make a gothic arch. Start by drawing two parallel lines as wide as you want the arch to be. Draw a line where you want the archway to begin its arch. Take your compass and place it at the intersection between those lines. Make the radius the same as the distance between the two sides. Now make an arc from one side to the midpoint between the sides. And do the same thing from the other side. That's your gothic arch done. But what if you want to adjust the height of the arch? If you want the arch to be taller, place your compass outside the arch on the guideline you previously made. And if you want it to be shorter, do the opposite and place your compass inside the arch on the guideline. I cut up four templates of 2mm medium weight chipboard and I make three blocks of XPS foam that will form the main structure of the arch. I've added one template on each side to make sure the wire stays straight while I'm cutting the foam. The glue has dried, but I've run into a bit of a problem. Despite my best efforts, the three blocks aren't perfectly square, so they don't align. Usually I just cut off the sides, but with three layers, the foam block is too big to fit under the metal arm. I think I'll try to sand it down. I plan on covering the surface in small tiles anyway, so the surface doesn't need to be perfectly smooth, but it does need to be flat. Okay, so that worked out fine. I'll give it a coat of black paint and that's the main structure done. A couple of weeks ago the 3D printer company Creality contacted me to hear if I wanted to showcase what one of their resin printers could do. I've been considering getting a resin printer for a while so of course I agreed and they sent over a Creality Hallet 1 Plus and a wash and cure station to go along with it. The Hallet 1 Plus is a 4K printer with a large build plate, and it was surprisingly easy to set up. I had the idea of making a statue to stand on top of the triumphal arch to depict a classic knight versus dragon scene, but with a space marine instead of a knight. My idea is that the triumphal arch was built to commemorate a time in history when space marines cleansed the planet of dragons. There's bound to be dragons on a death world somewhere in the 40k universe. The dragon is printed at a layer height of 0.05mm. The printer goes all the way down to 0.01mm, but look at the detail on this dragon's head. This is amazing. Look at the size of the teeth compared to this ballpoint pen. I can only assume that some kind of magic is involved. I really like the printer. It's been easy to work with and the quality of the prints is absolutely great. So if you are looking to buy a 3D printer, I can recommend this one. I'll also recommend that you get a wash and cure station. Resin printing can be quite messy, but the wash and cure station helps to keep your workspace clean. I'll leave some links in the description if you want to grab one for yourself. So thanks to Creality for sponsoring this video. Next up I'll make a base for the statue out of plaster and foamed PVC.
Thanks to all my patrons who made this video possible. And welcome to Callum, Kennedy and Dave. I've primed all the parts of the statue with a rattle can and given them a coat of bronze with my airbrush. Next I'll cover the whole thing with a mix of contrast Pterodon turquoise and Acrax Earthshade. And then I'll make an oil wash to create a heavy verdigris, like you see on the Statue of Liberty for example. I'm using an oil wash because they don't stain like acrylic washes tend to do. Let's make a bunch of marble tiles. I'll make each individual tile and then I'll glue them in place. I'll use 1mm styrene, also known as plastic art. I'll score a tile pattern into it, so hopefully I can paint a big batch of them in one go and then just snap them apart. First I'll add the base color to the tiles. Then I'll stretch out some wet wipes and pull at them until they're full of holes and I'll wrap them around the tiles, basically using them to mask off a pattern. And finally, I'll add another coat of paint of a lighter color. I've never tried this before, so let's hope it works. Success! There were a lot more veins than I expected. I was expecting like 90% white and 10% color. This is more like 50-50, but I like it. Now let's break them apart and glue them in place. Next I'll make some columns out of foam and plastic tubes. I'll make a plinth and a top part out of foam that the columns can sit between. The challenge will be to get the right height, because the main structure is slightly uneven, which you can't tell from looking at it, but it'll be noticeable if the columns don't align with the top of the structure. I'll also switch up the colors so the columns don't look exactly like the rest of the arch.
marble pattern is a bit more overwhelming than I anticipated. So while I originally wanted to model a lot more details, I think it will be better if I add some elements that don't look as chaotic as the rest of the structure. Next up, I'll add etching to the arches and to the roof to hide the rough corners and to add some visual interest to the structure. I'll cut up some XPS into long thin pieces on my hot wire table and then I'll paint them with my airbrush. Then I'll glue them in place and I'm crossing my fingers they won't snap when I bend them. I designed and 3D printed a commemorative plaque to sit above the main archway. The inscription dedicates the arch to the god emperor of mankind and the space marines who rescued the planet from the dragons. Now I want to make some big red banners to give some contrast to the colors and the marble pattern. I'll make them out of 0.5mm styrene sheet this time. Then I'll paint them up with the airbrush and lastly I'll add some brass rods to the tops and bottoms of the banners. And that is the triumphal arch done. Let's take a look at the final result. Thank you for watching. If you want to support the channel and get behind the scenes updates, head on over to Patreon and join the cult.